believe that it's mostly cryptic stuff that's happening here. I mean, after all, we are not into uh, understanding the ancients at all. Aerith is not really good at, commu uh, at, at telling us what's going on, and Sephiroth has no interest to do so. Oh yeah, the time room. A room with 13 exits, of which one we already just covered. So we, we've come from the 10. And, um... Duh. Um, I think we just go... I think the best thing to do is just go clockwise. Oop. Um, until we are finished. Unless I... Uh, as long as I can uh, recognize, wow, recognize the correct way, the correct entrance early enough before stuff happens, there will be no risk, I, I guess. Speed up, up, that's it. And yeah, yep, yep. This is not very. Oh no, this is one way we cannot go. I'll just skip that. I mean, it's a 12, of course, that's an important thing. The spin button, by the way, does this. And I want it to stop here. One, two, three. Uh, yep, that's kinda good. If you want to do big changes, sometimes it's uh, faster than spinning more than an hour by yourself. Proceed now. And here we go. Ah, here we can go. Nice. Oh, it's a chest. It's a fight. It's a trap. Well, that's what you get. Seal evil. We're just gonna we're just gonna use it once. Two toxic rocks and the what the gem is gem. Genesmi. Okay, whatever. Seal Evil. It's a very simple technique that is... It's usually against no... Oops. I misclicked. It's usually against normal enemies because of its stop effect. It's doing silence and stop to control enemies. But useless against bosses, of course, because... Yeah, bosses, right? Boom. But if you have an annoying fight and just say, yeah, I don't want to, I want to toy with you. I, d I don't want you to do anything. This is a adequate solution. And we go back. So yeah, there are a, pl a few treasure chests around this place. Um, uh, I think, for example, now, if I were to move this manually, I would have to do two spins with a hole. I, I'll just do it once. Huh? I, I can only move the minute uh, arm. So I would have to do full circle and a little bit more. And if you're into it, you can... Uh, uh, the hour the hour arm moves three more ticks after you end this, the random... S not random. The, the automated spinning. So if you do it right, you can just... One, two, one too much. Okay, that wasn't good. But you can still save time sometimes. One, two, three. Good. Bas basically you use the uh if you are if you use the automatic spin to adjust the hour arm to yourself or the the entry where you wanna go. And then you use the minute arm to uh, to complete the bridge. Another chest. What's in here? Another fight. That's not fair. Where's all the items? Where did all the items go? What the fuck are you? Eight eye. I somehow have a bad feeling. That was just darkness. I feel like they were somehow dangerous. Well, that's just darkness, isn't it? Yeah, that's not dangerous. Uh, 
absorbing life. That's at least annoying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm the fuck down. What the fuck happened? Oh. Okay, that was dangerous. Whoa. <laughs> oh, but they give good experience. Fire and ice leveled up. Okay, so a little check at the materia now. Fire complete, ice complete, bolt complete. Cure, quake stuff. Yes, it's good. Um, I really got to think of showing you some of the new spells. Um, but I really don't want to do that without a, a means to f refill my MP. Because the high level spells are fucking expensive. Okay, spin it and stop. One, two, three. That's perfect, just as intended. Because now I can just say, yep. Uh oh, wait. The second, uh, the second arm can actually knock you down. And that's basically the 13th exit of this room. It's an optional one, but I don't want to do it now. So I will let it pass for a moment. And another way. Another chest. Item, please. Princess Guard. That is, if I'm not mistaken, raises power when you need to protect others nearby. It's a weapon for Aerith. Lots of slots, but that's about it. Uh, anything I want to put in there? Um... There is something I want to show you. So we have had, we have leveled uh, our destruct, and that gives us a uh, uh, an opportunity to do something really, really nice. Added effect destruct. I'll show you in, in the menu in a minute what it does in detail. Didn't we already have a mystify somewhere? Mystify, mystify. Do we not have a leveled mystify? Well then... Really? Oh, on some other character? Nope. No leveled mystify. Then I guess we're gonna do that now. Ah, uh, no. And um, in the status menu there are those pages that we didn't really look at. Elemental resistance to the weaknesses and statuses. Where you can see all your character's resistances and stuff. And since we put it into Aerith's weapon, Aerith now has the death eff effect on her attacks. What it does, we will probably see in the next random encounter. Um, yes, move it myself. Two steps forward, and here we go. We started at the 10, so we are uh, more than half done now. Ah, no key here. Great. Oh my god, our first ribbon. I want it so much. The ribbon is a great thing. Protect against all abnormal statuses. It's not exactly protecting against all of them. As you can see, death and near death. Slow and stop. Not really all of them. I mean, apparently you are able to be protected against positive statuses like haste, barriers, manip manipulate. Duh. No enemy ever tries to manipulate you, so that's useless. And you don't want to be uh, protected from that. But except from death and time statuses, we are basically protected from everything. If you want to really uh, accomplish something in the battle arena, in the God Salsa, having this for the character is a huge, huge, huge plus. Spin and stop. One, two, three. Ah, uh, one, two, one, two, many, but whatever. Go back, proceed. So that's the six now where we're going. I think that's the one where we will continue. 
but we'll see. Yep, this is the one where we need to go. Boom. And he's running away. They're always running away. Isn't Eris supposed to be one of them? Why that why are they running away from Eris? Kinda. Okay, so uh, we'll, we'll uh, check out this mini game uh, in a minute when we finish this room. Okay, I told him I would move it myself, so now I can't go back without changing screen again. So we're gonna do it by hand, like this. Seven, eight, nine, and down. Those are all the ones that are missing. Trumpet shell. What's a trumpet shell? I hope it's got nothing to do with Trump. Haha. <laughs> uh, trumpet. Oh, it's for Kate okay, Sith. Okay, not really interesting t for us. Now, let's see if I can do a proper spin this time. One, two, three. I want it to be next to me because then I can do two entrances in a very in a, in a quick succession. But whatever. So this is, I think, the last one, Sec uh, second last one. Is this a fight? No, it's a mega mega elixir. That's nice. Mega elixir is basically an elixir for all characters, which means. It's basically a tent that you can as use everywhere. Um, spin. Stop. What? Ever. Here we go. This is the last entrance of the twelve. Okay, never mind. Now. Continue. It doesn't matter what the how the thingies are are pointing now. Now we just wait for the second uh, arm. Okay, no, wait. Never mind. We can do we can do better than that. Um, move it myself. Speed up. How far do I want it to go? Like this. That's probably enough. Yep, perfect. Now we just stand here and wait for the second uh, second arm to hit us. Then it's like, whoop, down. Kaboom! Here it comes. This is one of the harder battles in here. It actually is... Well, first of all, it's a, pr it's a pretty bad situation. And they are really strong. So, uh... Ouch. Uh, yeah. Sad thing is that Aerith is the one who has the death attack. I'm not sure if those enemies count as normal enemies. Try to slow that one. Not much we can do there. Nope, stop didn't work. But silence did, at least something. Okay, now we're gonna go work with the death. At least I hope so. Oh, 
they hurt so much. I should have healed Tifa. Ouch. So yeah, this is basically more of a mini boss fight. I don't even remember what's in the treasure chest there, but I hope, but, but I guess it's worth it. Tifa, you sure you want that? And first one down, so we won't take any more back attacks. Which is already a big bonus. Whoop. Oh, they can still use the Southern Cross. I hope that uh, Silence would stop that. But since it's not a spell, it's a monster technique, they can still use it. Nothing to steal. Time to die. Huh, okay. Still, it's still okay. I mean, all of the techniques hit. That's already a big bonus. Boom. And here we go. Okay, so definitely a dangerous fight. The Southern Cross. If you get two Southern Crosses, that's a pretty nasty uh, hit of damage. But the reward for it is Nail Bat. Oh yeah, it's a pretty ugh weapon. If you do the Yuffie plot after this. Those weapons are somewhat useful because you don't have any materia anyway, so why not use them? But overall, you don't want them. Want to use them? They're just. And the the many other weapons that we have found are the same type of weapon. They are no growth and um, yeah, no growth, no slot, just a high attack. So. You can, of course, for example, you can do Aiden Code plus such a weapon so that a character has overall an average materia count. But I don't know. Still doesn't feel. Still doesn't really feel worth it. That was the death effect. I'm pretty sad that it's not a. No, it doesn't have a visual effect. But you probably noticed that this mob should have survived that attack. It had enough HP to survive it. But, um, but yeah, Aerith attack is now associated with the death spell. So when she hits an enemy, the death, uh, it's basically as if she would simultaneously cast the death spell on the enemy. Which doesn't have a full 100% success, uh, success chance, but if it succeeds, the enemy will die instantly. I will show you the spell soon. Actually, are there combats in this screen? And for example, if you combine that with the counter cover combination, you have a character that will strike everywhere and have a, well, at least a decent chance to kill enemies off with just one hit. It's, it can be quite a formidable way of clearing weak enemies without investing MP. Uh, but then again, of course, the strongest enemies uh, are immune to death, so those w where it would really be worth it can't be used against them. Where am I? Ah, oh, there. Okay, we wanted. Where do we want to go? Six, right? Oh uh, yeah, I moved myself. It works. Do it like this and proceed. And don't get knocked down again. Yeah, plenty of time. So yeah. A nice little room. And he's locking the door again. Why ever? So yeah. Uh, when we enter one of these entrance okay. On these lower, on these little things here, we can jump down. And if we enter a doorway, this little ghost will come out of another one. And basically, this is a game. This is like a game of memory. 
we try to figure out a pattern in his moves, which gangway, which which way is connected to which one. They are not euclidic, by the way. So, um, if the top left way is connected to the, if I enter here and I come out, give me a second. There. If I go in here, I won't necessarily come out at the top. The goal is to enter that uh, area, the, the goal where he's going to come out. Okay, lucky me, because then this happens and he's being caught and unlocks the doors and also offers us services. Of course, I first want to get that chest. Work glove. Oh, that's the weapon for Tifa. No slot. Attack power. Duh. No, no, I don't want to. <laughs> no, <laughs> I wanted to talk to the guy. That's a really ugh spot to... This is a super stupid stop spot to find that guy. For fuck's sake. There, now. Save. Good thing is there I don't think there are random encounters in this screen. So that's at least something. But yeah, uh I have never really seen a predictable pattern here. And now we need to find a way to get up to the top. Uh That's not it. This one? No. This one? No, I don't think. No, that's the one where you come out when you go come from the top. Maybe here? Nope. 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 Ah, that one's. Now we can go in here. And. This is the place where we wanted to go. The room with the morals. Oh, this is such an ear. Oh, it's so hard to look at. So yeah, the murals actually are important, or at least meaningful. You have the temple with, a, with some kind of crystal and the sun. All types of people gathered for a star. I think he lost his sh the sheath of his sword, because he's always holding it. So yeah, there's the crystal again, that we saw in here in the first, in the temple. There's the crystal on some kind of uh, pedestal, and the star. And I don't really see what's happening here, but I definitely see what's happening there. That's not a new UFO, and the crystal is there again. Look well. Did no one ever tell you to finish your sentences? Has your mother not talked to this? Oh wait, your mother is a monstrosity. Oh, I forgot. Wait, wait, wait. So, yeah. Now he has given himself a shot and he's lying there. No, I don't know why he's lying there. I really don't. Soon we will become one. By the way, that last piece of the moral, people burning in flames. But, 
As every good villain, he is giving us quite a good explanation of what his plan is. And it's actually the more... Funnily, he will, he will uh, reference his plan multiple times, but none of the later times is as clear as this one. Once the planet is hurt, get a spirit energy to heal the injury. What would happen if there was an injury? I don't really need it. I don't need to read it. It's 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 really really clear. Is September already ended? Okay, now this is where starts shit uh, starts getting weird, really weird. get a new music. Remember what I uh, said about it, about the choice of music themes in the last or la the session before that. When you hear a new music piece in games like this, you know that this is it's a new theme. In the very sense of the word. It's a new piece of a new piece that has enter the big equation of the story of the plot. And yeah, what just might be wrong with Cloud? I mean, we have this graphic glitchy effect that Sephiroth had before. Maybe he's possessed? And he's having a seizure. Seizure. Rock, paper, scissors? I can't even words. Rock, paper, scissors. I'm sorry, I know that was horrible. So, yeah. And he has no recollection of it. Don't worry about it, it's nothing. Oh, Sephiroth got away. Well, it's hard to keep someone who can be teleported from getting away. I don't think it really means small drifting planets, probably rather like medium-sized asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> 